Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to create a subdomain in cPanel. Before I get started, if you're wondering what a subdomain is, it is this. If you see something like forms.bucket.org, the forms is the subdomain to the main domain. It also, so if I go to home on this page, it just goes to bucket.org, but if I go to the forms page, instead of having it like this, slash forms they have it like that and then if I go into more into the site then it breaks it down that way and if I have bucket go to bucket dev it's dev dot bucket and I can go to pages in that so that's how that works so creating one you're going to want to go to your C panel area go down to domains click on subdomains type in what you want the domain to be so I'm just going to call this to tutorial. I'm going to put that in the tutorial folder. You can change that if you want to. I recommend keeping it the same name to make it easier. And then you're going to want to click create. And then it says tutorial.techout.us has been created. So I can go back. Now it's not going to work right away. It may take a little bit for yours to work. Actually, does that work? Damn, that was hella quick. Okay, I guess it does work. So if I go into my FTP account, I should be able to refresh it and then drag and drop something in there. I just made a test index uh, file and then go to that file, so index.html. It worked. So that is how that works. I hope this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way for creating some domains. If it has, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day and goodbye.